I will say this aloud and reverse that, that gender is an agenda. Female gender is an agenda. And that is why His Excellency has picked me to stand in the position to fight for the women. So we are an agenda. We are a business to discuss about. Are you taking your campaign? Maybe are you having any plans for going? A new broom, kubadirisha diyo tabadirisha. Chui habadirishi rangi yake. Wezetu hatuamini watabadirisha. La la kabisa. Allow me also to have a running mate say something. She is passionate about women. Yes, and you know. How are you going to fight for us? How are you going to hang them? Are we going to hang people? We shall follow the law. We shall. We shall affect the law. The law is not thoroughly affected. That's number one. Number three, in fighting corruption, we have lacked determination and resolve. Lee Wan Hu, the first prime minister of Singapore, the way he voted corruption was he took his close friends who are ministers and with whom they fought corruption, they fought the colonial government. He took them to jail when they got involved in corruption. My running mate and I have said to each other, if I'm involved in corruption, she'll be the first one to seek my impeachment and go to jail. If she is, she'll also go to jail. Those that have been involved in corruption and scandals, we are still telling Kenyans, we shall ask them to account. We shall want to know where did corruption go. So it's by also setting examples, effecting the law, recovering our stolen wealth, not doing some some you know aesthetics that we are fighting corruption we have not even touched the service of corruption scandals and our stolen money that money can bring total health care it can bring free education the one that has stolen and is abroad it can reward the farmers and it can ensure that we move from poverty and we start going to the next level kenya is not a poor country kenya is resourced I told the people by way of a testimony in church, take the two billion and that's just government, it's lost through governmental corruption. We are not dealing with the other corruption. Multiply it by 30 days, that is 60 billion. Multiply it by a year, 720 billion. Even that alone, before we add, we, 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 if we, shall, we shall do that by clogging corruption. Corruption, bureaucracy, Mad administration are what have brought about poverty. We shall fight corruption and have the money that goes through corruption and in pockets of individuals and cartels come to address the issues that are making us have high cost of living. We shall bring industrialization. We shall bring easy credit for farmers, for the youth, for women, for small businesses. We shall share equity. We shall ensure there is equality and equity in sharing the national cake so that at the, at the count levels, more money goes in there. And finally, when we stop where our money has been getting lost, we bring determination, resolve. We bring straightforwardness. Let me tell you, my brothers, the cost of living will go down. But we shall not be ready to take more loans we shall not be ready to increase this cost. Indeed, from the first 100 days, we shall seek to bring the cost of those things down. On our second door after we have been sworn, we shall want on my desk all the files to do with scandals, illegally stashed money there with the full report, what has been done, who has stolen, and we shall be telling Kenyans what we find out. I think we, we, we want to make clear that as a government, we. We don't think it's right to say we will abolish or go on with CBC. What we shall do as soon as we are in office within the first 100 days, we shall also sit down with all stakeholders, the parents, the experts, the researchers, and the government, and other non-government organizations, and find out how the burden on the parents, on the guardians, on the supporters, and also the burden on the children can be minimized and how we can marry that with the fact that the intentions and the outlooks of CBC are good. Bring talent. By the time you are finishing your primary school, there is something you can do for yourself. By the time you are finishing the secondary school, 
you can be self-employed because that is largely the way to go. And as a government, we will ensure that there is easy credit. When I was in school, uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May shall be accounted and said, in my county there shall be peace. Was blessed with finances, gold and what? Silver. Two of us. Because money. money. Because money. Because money. Because Iwapo unapenda habari nazokuletea basi subscribe kwenye channel hii ili uwe unapata uhondo kila wakati. Shukran.